Hello, hello. Back at it here today, Hilt's Machine Works. I got a project here that I thought would be fun to do a video on for the YouTube channel. And what's going on is the high school in my area, one of the high schools, has a wood shop. And they have a ton of old Craftsman vices. And these are not USA vices. They are made in Japan. You can see that on the bottom if you're ever looking at one of these in a lawn sale or something. But I will tell you that these are not cheap gray iron um, vices. They are good forge vices. They are head and shoulders above anything that you can get that's Chinese made right now at a tractor supply or a Harbor Freight or a Lowe's or anything like that. Any of the Chinese or Taiwanese um, cast iron, gray iron uh, vices are much inferior to these, these ones here. And so what I'm doing is, they've been unable to use a lot of these vices. As you can see, they're, a lot of them are missing jaws. They've got uh, broken off screws that are in there, machine screws that are broken off. But what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna take off this old jaw, or the, the little vice jaw here, and um, we're gonna make some new ones. I think I'm gonna make a couple of them out of aluminum. They can have some soft jaws, and we'll make some out of steel. I'm uh, just going to use some mild steel here. They're not using these for anything other than wood working. And uh, let's see how it goes. So one of the things I like to do um, when you encounter a fastener, like a machine screw or something that's stripped out, uh, is you can tap your way around here until you can get enough to get something like my Knipex pliers on there. And so using a punch or a chisel, you can start it. And now I've got enough that I can kind of pinch it here with my pliers, get that baby out. All right, so with the removable part of the jaw off, we can see that this one is nice here. The, the movable jaw section um, is nice and clean. The threads are good. Even the replaceable part here of the jaw is really not in that bad of shape. We're probably just gonna keep that. Um, however, the fixed jaw side is not as nice. We have damage in here that I showed at the beginning. And what we're gonna do for this is, I'm going to, instead of trying to put an insert in that or anything, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna drill this deeper and tap it deeper and I'm gonna use a longer screw. However, I'm not gonna use machine screws on this. I'm gonna extract this one without damaging the threads. Uh, I don't really like machine screws as a preference of mine. I prefer to use a socket head cap screw with an Allen key. And what we're gonna do is, um, I've consulted the machinery's handbook because this changes the way the removable section of the jaw works. Because of course this is like, you know, we have to put a counter bore in to sink the socket head cap screw down far enough that it will seat below flush. And what you find is in the machinery's handbook is they give you all of the information for this kind of thing. And, um, if we use a quarter 20 thread, then we've got plenty of meat in the removable jaw section using a 3 8 piece of material to have the um, socket head cap screw below flush. And um, what you find is that, like this is a 5 16 uh, socket head cap screw, and the length of the head here is 5 16 The thread is also a 5 16 thread. So we just need to make sure with a quarter, 20 thread that we have enough to sink below a quarter of an inch. And of course, this is three eighths, so we got the meat to do it. And I think it's a better plan. I think it's less likely that the kids are gonna strip these out again. So let's make a new set of jaws. Okay, so this is roughed out, and now we are going to drill it and counterbore it. I'm going to use a transfer punch to mark these holes, and then we're going to go back to the mill, drill it, and counterbore it.
what we're doing here for the counter bore is we're using a flat bottom drill set that makes a nice counter bore in there. Now that our new jaw is completed, let's go back over to the vise and we're going to see if we can extract that broken machine screw. I'm going to try to use a chisel and a punch, see if I can work that screw back out. If not, I'll center punch it and we'll use a left hand drill. Well, I tried to get it out with the chisel and I couldn't. So I ended up center punching it and using a left-handed drill bit. Okay, so this vise is now put back together again and the new jaw piece is on. We were able to save the old jaw piece and uh, which had the good threads on, this, on the movable jaw. And uh, with this thing back together, I'm going to start making uh, some of the other soft jaws for the other vices that the school has. And this one can go back into service at the school. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And remember to share these videos and tell me in the comments what you'd like to see in future ones.